Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh at CindyLeeBeeDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. I have for you today a fun folded card using designer series paper. I use the A Big Thank You stamp set, and as you remember from my last video, it's bundled with this fun die cut that says thank you. It's in the annual catalog. We're gonna be using the sentiment in here, friends are flowers in the garden of life. And since we're talking about flowers, I thought it appropriate to use the gorgeous petal promenade paper that's in our annual catalog. Beautiful hues of pinks and the grapefruit grove. You've got bold colors here with the fresh fig. Mossy meadow is strewn throughout there, strewn throughout there. And it also has two sheets of 12 by 12 paper that have floral borders and wreaths on them. So these are really fun to be able to cut out and use as focal points on your card as well. So this card, as you can see, I did use the softer pink colors. I used the Blushing Bride and the Grapefruit Grove, and I used the bolder Mossy Meadow on here. But I thought on the card we're gonna make now, why not pull out this gorgeous paper here? And this has fresh fig in it and Highland Heather. So we're going to be making this card using this designer series paper, but we'll keep looking back for reference on this one. So to get started, as I said, quarter sheet, it's five and a half by four and a quarter. Don't worry about writing down any of the products or any of the measurements that we do on this card because they'll be on the blog post for this card. So just hop over to my blog, cindyleebdesigns.com. So what we're gonna do first is set aside our card base and we're going to score our designer paper. Now I'm gonna bring out my stamp and trimmer. I'm going to open up the arm on my stamp and trimmer because we're going to be using it past the six and a quarter measuring area. So I cut this to four inches because I can get three cards out of a 12 by 12. And when you're wanting to showcase a beautiful designer paper and you wanna use a lot of it, why not be able to get three of them on there? So I cut it four inches and then I played around with five and a quarter and then how what the measurement would be to fold it over. So I did all that work for you already. Believe me, there's a bunch of uh, scrap designer paper, you know, ones that aren't stamping up um, or in my garbage can. So right now we're gonna use this beautiful paper. It's 10 and a half inches. So we're going to put the 10 and a half inch side up against, whoa, you couldn't see that, could you? Up against the top of our stamp and trimmer. And we're going to put the left side to five and a quarter. Five and a quarter gives a nice one eighth inch border around the edge of your, of your card here. So what we're gonna do is put that left side at five and a quarter and we're going to use our light scoring tool here and we're gonna score there. Uh, you can notice I put a piece of white stripped, a piece of whisper white underneath my clear guide here on my trimmer. A lovely woman suggested I do that back on one of my earlier videos and I searched around for about 10 minutes and could not find that post that she left. So if you left that post, please give a shout out on the post for this card on my blog and shout out to yourself for giving me that great idea. I love it. So what we're gonna do is score that at five and a quarter, slide our 10 and a half inch piece of paper in the same position over to eight and three quarters. So we're going over to eight and three quarters a quarter inch before the nine, and then we're just gonna score it again. Okay, so you put your 10 and a half inch in, five and a quarter, score, over to eight and three quarters, score. So we've got that part done for our card. So then we're going to be able to look and see which side we want to showcase the most. I would say showcasing this beautiful floral image is what I wanna do. So I'm gonna fold it over on that score line and then you'll see the other score line here and you're going to fold it over. Now this petal promenade paper is absolutely made for this card because the other side of the designer paper has such a beautiful pattern to it that coordinates lovely with this one. Now I do love that our designer series paper has sometimes two absolutely different patterns on it because it's more versatile, but in this case, when you're making this card, it's fun to find a designer paper that has a real beautiful matching coordination with it. So what we're gonna do is bring back our card base. We're going to take our snail and we're going to adhere this flap down. So we're going to put some snail and we're going to line up the top and the bottom and we're going to adhere this, okay? 
Then we're just going to turn it over. Oh, look at all the beautiful veining in that and those little snail boogies. Okay, so we are going to put some adhesive on the back of the designer paper. And then we want to just put a nice 1 8 inch border around the designer series paper. That mossy meadow, one of my favorite greens. Thank you, Stamping Up, for bringing it back. And so now we have that border around there, and the card opens this way. And you're looking at this beautiful inside. When I first made this card, I decided just to do my, you know, by habit, do a quarter inch smaller, but I really wanted to show off this paper. I mean, that's the point of this card. So I made my inside to be showing around here. So what I did is I cut the mossy meadow border. So this mossy meadow border is cut to four, four and a quarter by three. And then the part that we're going to write on is two and three quarters by four. So let's go ahead and put that on now because it, it just gives us um, an idea. I am not too adept today with my snail. You coordinate, Mr. Snail. I think I'm not doing it on the... What am I doing wrong here? Da, da, da. There we go. Sometimes my hands just don't want to work for me. Ha! So there we go. We're going to put a nice border around that panel on the inside and then we're going to adhere it there we go I got the sword in my snail now so then you put a nice floral border by centering it in the inside of the card and you can see this Highland Heather that's in the paper and you can see it pulled there it's more of a pinky color but it says Highland Heather on the paper so I was not going to oh there it is there's a pretty Highland Heather in there can you see that pretty Oh, I kind of sounded like Bob Ross there. <laughs> okay, so I used the Highland Heather to do the image here. And what I did is I just used the sentiment, and then there's this fun little loop-de-loo here, and I used the Blushing Bride to bring out some of the pink, and I just stamped it on the top and on the bottom. And then I cut it out with my two-inch circle punch. Ah, love it when I can use a punch on a card. So I just centered my sentiment into the two-inch circle, there we go, pop it out, and there you go. So on this card, when I used the crisp cantaloupe as the coordinating color, I used a two and a half inch circle punch, but this time I'm going to use a two and a quarter inch punch. Ha, huh. and where is it going? It's going on this beautiful pearlized doilies. These are in the annual catalog, and there's 24 of them in a pack, pearlized doilies. They have a pearlescent sheer sheen to this side and on this side it's just plain white so very versatile you can use either side and you could use either side on this card but boy the pearl pearl side is just the way to go so i find it easiest to turn over so my good side is down on my work surface and then i'm going to use this side and i'm just going to put some snail on the back of my highland heather circle and i'm going to put it right down in the middle and the reason I'm trying the two and a quarter inch one is I want to see, I like, I like seeing this little um, opening on the doily more. So then since we have that, we're going to turn over the two inch circle and we're going to adhere it to the center of that pearlescent doily. Look how pretty that Highland Heather looks there. Okay, so as you can see on this card, I put some little embellishments here of the leaves. And I used the little leaves punch. Remember this little leaves punch cuts out the leaves in the Painted Harvest Sunflower set? Oh, gorgeous one. So we're gonna use this little leaves and we just cut out, well we didn't, I did, but once you do it, we can say we did it. So I cut out two vellum and two mossy meadow. And I wanna put them on the opposite sides of the circle. So I'm gonna turn it over. Let's see if I'm gonna remember. Oh, there's my snail. And I'm gonna put my snail close to the edge because I want it to catch the leaves. And I'm putting the vellum leaf on first. And then I'm going to put the mossy meadow one behind it. 
And then I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side of the circle. Put a vellum and a mossy meadow. When you're making a card and you just can't get it exactly the way you want it to look, if you put some vellum on it, it just instantly jazz it up the card. So there we go. We have our leaves on there. And then we're going to use Stampin' Dimensionals, and I know they're on my work surface here, to put this onto the card. And I hope that I did, I did, I think. We're going to put a dimensional right over where the two leaves overlap. So that just gives us a little extra staying power for those little guys. Okay, so I forgot to say when I was putting the sentiment on to, huh, I did it. Um, I lined up one of these lines on the doily with the designer series paper. It just looked aesthetically pleasing to my eye. And I forgot to tell you to do that there, but it actually, <laughs> I did it that way just by chance. So there we go. We're going to adhere that to the center. I know you can't adhere it if you don't have the backs off of it, silly woman. Okay, so take off your backs of your dimensionals and adhere your pretty flowers. Friends are flowers in the garden of life onto the front of your card. There you go. And look how pretty the Highland Heather coordinates with the stamp on this side. And so on this card, it was easy to use these cute little pearls here that come from the Share What You Love designer artisan pearls. But on this one, I don't really have Highland Heather, so I just thought I would bring out the Petal Pink. So I'm, no, it's, I can't remember if this is Petal Pink or, I think it is Petal Pink, but there is pink in there. Oh, you know what, let's put the pink one and let's put one of these, I do believe is a pretty color to go with that. And I will put, oh, no, you're not going to put another one of the darker pink. You're going to put another one of the lighter pink, Cindy. So there we go. But you know what we could have done on this card is we could have really got fancy and just took our Highland Heather alcohol marker and we could have colored in our white pearls and then you would have had, but this really, really pulls out the colors in the, the paper. So I'm happy with that. So there we go, two different cards made with the same designer paper, Petal Promenade. And you can make this card easily by folding back a piece of your designer paper. You can get three of them from a 12 by 12. So if you have any questions about this card, you can go to my blog, cindyleebdesigns.com. If you have any questions, you can email me or text me at well, text me at 724-323-2296 or you can email me at cindyleeb at gmail.com. Thanks for buzzing by, friends.